Hey guys. Hey all. I know it looks like we're wearing the same clothes that we wore on a previous review that you may have watched. I assure you, it's a completely different day. It's just a coincidence. Right? Absolutely. All right, so what are we doing today? Installing a... Let me just take oh. it, guys. Let me just take this. <laughs> so... Molly Platform Solutions holster mount. Molly Platform Solutions holster mount. <laughs> However, this one is kind of custom. Stay tuned. So you may be asking yourself after watching that badass intro, what do you mean it's custom, Jeremy? Well, let me tell you guys, if you saw my review of the Molly Platform Solutions holster mount, um, you'll know, remember that it goes, it normally mounts on the driver's side. Well, I don't know if you've seen this thing right here, but she's tiny. She's a little Oompa Loompa. So her seat is pushed up like as far as it will go. And then she even has booster pedals on her Jeep pedals, guys. Booster pedals. So I can reach. So I reached out to the folks at Molly Platform Solutions and I asked if they can make a version for the passenger side. So what's cool about the interior of a Jeep is that it's tiny. So she should have no problem reaching to the passenger side. I love the JK on there, I just love it. So for those of you that haven't seen the other Molly Platform Solutions review, what's gonna happen is this ideally will bolt to the seat or to the floor and then the pistol will be able to rest right along here. Yep. So. All right, so let's get this thing installed. But first, she's gonna need to install her holster. You can't put a gun there without a holster, can you, babe? All right, so, so we're gonna guys, do that the first. The holster mount is gonna go into the Jeep facing that direction. So it's gonna go, in like it's gonna go in just like that. And so we're gonna mount that holster on the other side. On the side that's closest to me as a driver. Right, so she's going to remove the bolts for her clip. You can see the clip bolts here, and she's gonna rerun those bolts through there. So I'm guessing that depending on the person and the, the, the mount, you can put it on either. Yeah, you hole. can move it over. Okay. So for you, we're gonna put it in that top because it'll need to be the quickest to get. So be careful, you're gonna have some rubber rings that'll fall out of there. Once you... So we just got the clip off. And one thing I wanna note, these rubber pieces, I would leave those there that way it would reduce any kind of vibration that you may get from the Jeep going down the road. So she's gonna put that on the back side. This way. Yep. And then run her, nope. Just put the screws there. Right. And then she's gonna run her screws back through. And so if you'll notice, they also leave room uh, for larger holsters and larger guns to adjust the cant of your gun. And those nails look good, baby. Yeah, I can't do shit with them though. <laughs> <laughs> Feel good? So. Good and snug? Yeah. Good, yeah. All right, we're gonna get ready to mount this thing. We'll slide the seat back and show you guys how it goes in. All right, so she's gonna mount this thing. She's got her 18 millimeter. And she is going to be unscrewing the bolt to hold down the seat. And 
she's gonna be doing that a while, so I'm not gonna make you watch it because it's a long bolt. So the bolt big is out, bolt. and it's a big ass bolt. So it is out, and now she is going to put that just like that. Like so. Like so. Thanks, Cody Green. And she's gonna run that thing back down. And holy cow, it just looks so good in there, guys. I mean, it looks like it was built into this Jeep. All right, guys. It is in, and I'm telling you, it's great. So baby, go around to the other side and let's put a pistol in that thing. Sorry for the mess in the car, guys. It's a daily driver. I'm gonna say it's a Jeep. So if you're wondering, let's show them what you're gonna be putting in there. So this is her SIG P238 Black Pearl Edition. So drop it in. Nice. So is it is it hard to get to? Or are you gonna be able to get to it easy? Nice. Perfect. So guys, if you're like her and you ride with that seat, way well, up. way the hell up there, <laughs> now you've got a way to mount your pistol. So, and that is much better. We actually had, the way we used to throw this thing in here on some of our trips, her I'm phone actually that. fell out of her, yeah, she would carry it just over there by her emergency brake. And one time her phone fell out of her mount and uh, it cracked the camera. So now it's out of the way, it's easily accessible. And I just think this mount just looks so awesome in here. Plus we've got those Molly panels on the front. So now I'll be able to mount my holster here as well. Or we've got Molly pouches that hold flashlights and various other items, super cool. So if you're interested in this new custom passenger side version when you go to the molly platform solutions website make sure you let him know in the note section that you would like to order a passenger version um you know before you order the wrong thing so again guys this is a perfect application uh if you if you're out of space on the driver's side now you have a passenger side mounting option so what do you think of your new holster mount babe i'm you're really excited? That doesn't look like a really excited face. It's my really excited face. If that is your really excited face, I've been doing stuff wrong this whole time. It's my really excited <laughs> face. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's there, it's clean. I'm always worried about it being beside my emergency brake and bus piling shit on top of it. And so now I can get to it and it's not covered. That's the other thing is where it's set beside the emergency brake once we fill all this up. And yeah. I can get to it quickly. I'd be digging. So, I mean, that saves that completely. Nice. I love it, guys. Thanks for watching.